Are you a solopreneur ready to become a CEO with your virtual team? If you've ever wondered what a virtual team in the world of business is, then this video is for you. Today I'm going to share with you the biggest advantages and disadvantages to working with virtual teams. And I know, I know from experience, I've been there. I've built and worked with over 300 virtual teams all around the world. And I'm gonna share with you the three biggest mistakes I see people making on a regular basis with their virtual teams. And I'm gonna show you how you cannot make those same mistakes. And I'm gonna share with you the three biggest tips to success so that you can achieve so much more with your virtual team than you ever thought possible. First off, let's talk about the basics. What is a virtual team? So imagine your whole team is sitting around a table, but instead of sitting around at the same table, everyone's in their own offices, and those offices could be as far away as New Zealand or as close as the house next door. With so many people working virtually now and working online, we're able to connect to talent around the world that will serve our businesses and serve our people at a way higher level than when we previously would just look in our local environment. Of course, there are advantages advantages and challenges to working with teams in this way. And this, well, I might as well just share it all with you now. One of the biggest advantages to working with a team globally is that you can get work done in your business while you sleep. So if you happen to have a virtual assistant who's on the opposite side of the world to you are, they can continue working on your projects for your business while you check out from work and while you are literally sleeping. So that when you wake up, there's great stuff already accomplished and that momentum can continue. One of the biggest challenges though, is when you're working with different time zones, is making sure everyone's on the same page. A huge challenge to having people spread out as far as the opposite side of the world is lining up those meetings so that everyone can be on the same page. So what I recommend you do is make sure that you have a place to communicate. There's fantastic apps out there like Slack or Trello that can help you project manage and have a place for comments and communication between your team members. This way, everyone doesn't have to be on the same meeting, the same Zoom call together, but you can continue those outlines, you can t continue that conversation on a different platform, uh, doesn't matter what time of day it is. So if you're growing your business online, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Every week I release new videos focused on building your influence, your authority, and your income online. I'd love to see you join me for that journey and recommend some stuff you guys want to see. Let me know in the comments below. So the three biggest mistakes I see people making when they're working with their virtual teams are as follows. Number one, not setting clear enough expectations or clear enough processes. When you think of it this way, if you think about handing off a task and then you going to sleep, you're not available. You're just letting your virtual team run a process in the background. If you're not there to lead clear, concise direction, what you, the end product you end up with is probably going to be subpar. It's probably going to end up costing you more money in the end. So making sure that you have clear and concise expectations and processes will help you eliminate that challenge. The second biggest mistake that I see people making is looking only for the price point of their virtual team members. I've seen more posts than I'd ever like to count of people simply looking for VAs based on a certain dollar amount. They look specifically for countries that charge maybe three or four dollars an hour, as opposed to looking in their own country where someone might charge 20 or 30 dollars an hour for that same task. They feel like because they're able to get away with a lower dollar amount that the quality will be, uh, will be able to level that playing field. But what I found is when you treat your employees, regardless of what role they play in your company, if you treat them with respect and dignity and you pay them the going rate for their skill set, then you're going to get better quality results in the end. So don't skimp out on your virtual team members because they're going to play to the bottom line of your product quality. 
And the third biggest mistake I see people making with their virtual teams is totally taking advantage of them and forgetting that they're actual people. Remember, your virtual team members are humans too. We want to celebrate them. We want to give them the skills that they need in order to be successful, not only for our business, but for their business as well. Treat your VAs, treat your virtual team members, treat your employees like you would your family. Treat them with love and dignity and respect. Pay them what they deserve and you'll get incredible quality out of them. So let me know, do you have a virtual team? Have I struck a nerve? Did I say something I shouldn't have said about virtual team members? Or did I forget something entirely? Let me know in the comments below. And finally, as I promised, here are my three biggest tips for success with working with your virtual teams. First is we talked about making sure that we have clear communication. We also want to make sure that we have clear timelines and expectations of due dates. Having these in the right time zone can be really confusing. So I always like to set a single time zone as the time zone for the whole project. So if it's if I'm in Eastern Standard Time Zone, I tell all of my members in my team that we're talking Eastern Standard Time Zone for everything in this project. I try not to confuse it by saying what time zone it is for a certain person or another person. I say everything is happening according to Eastern Standard Time Zone. And that way we're able to make sure that we're delivering our product at the right time to our end customer. My second success tip for you is to find new and exciting ways to communicate with your team members. I found it was really neat when I started to expand my team and include people in a more geographically diverse area that they were actually using completely different apps to communicate than what I was used to using here in Canada. And it actually totally changed the way that I communicate with my team overall. We started using d these different apps and started having richer, more in-depth communication. We were able to share things in a different way and it became a heck of a lot more convenient than the ways that we were doing previously. And finally, my third tip for success is to make sure that you're leaning on the strengths of your team. You'd be surprised what kind of hidden superpowers and talents your team members might already possess that you aren't taking advantage of already, that you aren't utilizing in your business. So I highly recommend you get to know your people on a deeper level so that you can understand what other strengths and superpowers that they could bring to your business. Hey, you never know, your virtual assistant who's busy going through your email may also be a fantastic graphic designer and you could utilize that skill set in your business for the betterment of your products, your services, and your community as a whole. So think more creatively and let me know in the comments if you have a virtual team member who is just absolutely incredible and you want to take a moment to celebrate them. I want to also take a moment to celebrate them, so make sure you tell us in the comments below. And better yet, you might as well sign that awesome virtual assistant up for the Visibility Hacking Secrets training where we're going to unlock all of the secrets to getting maximum visibility. So in the training, you're going to learn all of the visibility hacking secrets that have to do with building your influence, your authority, and your income online. How we grow groups from zero to 10K. How we build that income that's based on creating a lasting legacy, connecting with those dream customers, and actually making a difference in the world, not just padding our bank accounts. But secret it is you can do both at the same time <laughs> all right guys definitely check that training out because the stuff that you're gonna learn in it is going to absolutely ignite it for your business